All right, I'm gonna make a quick little update video on my ram pump system here on the farm. Uh, first of all, this is the little pond that I've got. It's covering leaves and stuff right now, but uh, I just dug it by hand. It's pretty small. Um, all the little tadpoles have hatched, or not hatched, sorry. They, <laughs> they've grown up into little frogs. Uh, it was probably literally two days ago they were still tadpoles and they had little legs and you can see there's hundreds of them right here. See them hopping around and swimming around and stuff. Little frogs. I think they're toads actually, um, judging by what the eggs look like. But anyways, uh, this is the delivery line for the ram pump. That's what's coming, uh, that's what all, everything that's being pumped up the hill. This is where it comes back down and it fills up the pond here. Um, so moving over, and, and a quick little recap um, of the system. I made another video of it a while back, but it's a little bit different now. All the way up the hill, way past the house, I've got the creek and the spring. They're pretty much right next to each other. And the intake for the creek is up there, and the intake for the spring water is up there. I have a double-acting ram pump. Okay, so it's a double-acting system. I'm running my ram pump off of creek water, but I'm only pumping spring water. And I have yet to see a video explaining a system like that in detail. Okay, I've seen little bits and pieces here and there. But anyways, um, I've got the creek water line coming here across the yard. And you can see the standpipe over there. That's for the creek water. There's the standpipe. And then my spring water actually cuts through here and it comes through the garden. And one of these is the spring water supply right here. And the other one is the delivery pipe. So that's what goes all the way up the hill to the chickens and horses. And it comes back down to this garden hose to fill up the pond. But anyways, moving on to the ram pump. I know I kind of did that out of order, but um, you know, I might as well cover it while I was standing right there. So this is the ram and I've got my drive pipe. This is a steel drive pipe. So it's nice and rock solid. And you can see it goes to a straight shot to the stand pipe. Uh, but so this is the double acting ram pump. This side right here with a red handle, this is the spring water. So this is the pure spring water coming into the pump. There's the standpipe for the spring water. You can see this little check valve that I made. I'll go ahead and stop it for a few minutes. Um, this right here is a lift check valve that I made. It is a standard spring check valve with the spring removed. I drilled a hole in the bottom and I drilled a hole on the on the top of the valve seat. So the bottom side of the valve seat and the top opposite side of the valve seat. And I soldered in the connections so that I can thread fittings onto them. Hopefully you can kind of understand what that would be like. That comes into the pump directly underneath the secondary inside valve. And then this is just kind of a standard homemade ram pump. Of course, I have this custom waste valve on it. Um, I have weight, so I can change the weight distribution. And then I have uh, bolts right here that you can change the stroke size. And then of course you have the uh, pressure tank and the delivery pipe on the back side that's connected to the pressure tank. That's what goes all the way up the hill, um, all the way up the hill, and then it comes back down to the garden. So it's a nice circular motion. You know, water comes down, it gets pumped. It goes up the hill and then it comes back down exactly to where it got pumped. And then of course all the wastewater, I've got a little chute and it goes back into the creek. The creek is just like 10 feet away. So there's a nice recycled circular motion. And of course the overflow for the pond, it just goes back to the creek as well. So literally all the water that I'm pumping is not being wasted. It's all being used Yay! in one way or another. And um, that is the double acting ram pump. I'm using creek water to power the pump to pump spring water. Only spring water gets pumped up the hill. So it's a really cool system, really neat. If you have any questions about it, how it works, dimensions or you know sizes of pipes and things like that, I'd be happy to answer any questions about them. Um, and of course, I've got the nice concrete foundation on the bottom, make it nice and rock solid. Everything's bolted in to the concrete. So, you know, of course it's not going to move with that. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if, if you have any questions about the double acting, I'd be happy to talk about it more and, or make another video if you need another video. Um, but uh, yeah, basically a little spurt of spring water gets shot into 
this section of the pump right here on every st uh, stroke, every cycle. And the creek water gets wasted out of the waste valve, but only that spring water gets pumped up the hill. And I did a dye test on my other video to actually prove that the water was remaining separated. It's not mixing at all. Um, so it's really cool. Whoa. But there you have it. Hey, Pop.